वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडे वील बी बिगनिंग विद लास्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ द कोर्स रिटेल मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी सो एज फार एज लास्ट मॉड्यूल वॉज कंसर्न आई रियली होप दैट यू इंजॉयड लर्निंग अबाउट शो रूमिंग वेब रूमिंग एंड ऑल्सो हाउ वी कैन हैंडल दीज चैलेंजेस एज फार एज द करंट रिटेलिंग डायनेमिक्स इज कंसर्न बट टूडे आर्ट डिस्कशन इज प्रिसाइसली गोइंग टू बी अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्चुअल रियालिटी ऑग्यूमेंटेड रियालिटी एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वील ऑल्सो बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ दिज इम्पैक्ट द प्रेजेंट रिटेल डायनेमिक्स with respect to enhancing customer experiences and also creating very heightened or immersive experiences as far as shoppers retail experiences are concerned along with that for the last time we'll also be looking at two exciting elements which is extra fodder for thought and learning something new so as a part of extra fodder for thought today we'll be learning about book an appointment we'll also see the brand which is capitalizing on this as far as online shopping experiences are concerned we'll also be looking at one of the fascinating campaigns which which was executed in australia by the metro corporation which is lovingly called as dumb ways to die and finally we'll learn something new which is going to be about innovators today now as we start we'll first understand what virtual reality is so to put it in perspective in the terms of bidua and coifet vr is a computer generated 3d environment also called a virtual environment that users can navigate through and possibly interact with resulting in real time stimulation of one or more of users five senses so to put it in a very simplistic way virtual reality is all about creating a computer generated environment in other words you can also say that a computerized artificial world is creative in which the shoppers or consumers can enter to experience products let's say if there is any tourism service provider maybe you can consider the example of make my trip and yatra if they utilize the technology of virtual reality even by sitting in a city like rurki and by using some of the gadgets you will be able to completely experience let's say some of the tourist places in australia new zealand or another places like us uk or france the whole idea is even when you are not present at one place a virtual reality or a virtual world can be created where you can experience either that particular destination as i was giving you the example of tourism or even certain products and services so if you look in the end of this particular slide a virtual world has been created with respect to the brand burberry in which even without getting into the stores you will be able to experience the products by burberry so we'll be presenting you this world before we move further so i really hope that by looking at the virtual world which has been developed by the brand burberry you are able to get some perspective about what virtual reality is now to further understand the facets of virtual reality we'll be looking at a few more things so the first is immersive environment so virtual reality replaces the actual world with an entirely virtual one 
this also indicates the fact that a world would be created which will actually replace your real world which also means that you will be required to use some gadgets where you will be completely cut off from the real world and you will enter the world of virtual reality users of virtual reality are completely submerged in a digital world and frequently use vr headsets so this is how vr headset look like you are required to kind of wear these and only then you will be able to access the virtual world if you log into any of the online service providers like amazon and flipkart you'll be able to see these are available at very competitive and economical prices as far as today's markets are concerned another thing is complete isolation virtual reality aspires to completely shut off the real world while giving users a sensation of being there so this again reinforces the fact which i was telling you that you will be cut off from the real world and you will be entering into a altogether different virtual world where the objective is to provide you very heightened immersive experiences highly immersive means that the world is going to be very engaging and you will completely feel as you are a part of it this also implies that when using vr users cannot see surroundings in the real world when you look at the facet of user interaction hand controllers body motions and occasionally specialized gear like haptic gloves or motion trackers are used to interact with the virtual environment by the users if you talk about the use cases of virtual reality it is often used for shopping gaming simulations training architectural visualization and creating immersive experiences where the user is transported to a different world see if you talk about let's say the world of builders or who are into the business of constructing residential buildings which are anyway then sold to the customers just imagine the people even by sitting at their homes can use virtual reality to use how the flats actually looks what is the size of the flat or how the construction has been done all these things can actually be experienced by using virtual reality along with this definitely it is being used heavily by the tourism sector i also gave you an example how even if you are at one place how you can experience any of the tourist destinations by using virtual reality gaming companies are also using virtual reality to offer a very heightened immersive and enjoyable experiences to the players along with this finally it is being used heavily by the retailers as well there are many brands today specifically international brands who have created their own virtual channels and worlds where you can actually experience their products and services as you also saw in case of burberry now in order to put things in a better perspective we'll be looking at one of the videos which have been derived from the official channel of infosys this is definitely going to give you a better insights or perspective about how the virtual world works Digital shopping. Boring, right? Typing, swiping, carding, waiting. Could you reinvent the digital store? You could in a new kind of store where touching is better than typing, swiveling is better than swiping, pointing is as good as carding, and waiting, you're home in a click. This is best of both worlds, physical, digital. Welcome to the Infosys Virtual Reality Store. It's as real as it gets, and it's more integrated than ever. Intuitive to reimagine operations, responsive to reconfigure the value chain, and perceptive to reimagine the experience. To make it more personal, more immersive, more informative, more intuitive, easy to navigate, easy to compare, easy to decide. Integrate the front end with the back end. From the SAP ERP planning and sales to the Infosys Intelligent Warehouse. From blockchain insights to consumer insights to go direct to consumer for CPG. With the VR analytics to sense how people shop, best performing tactics, behavior patterns, product preferences, product placement, offers that work, layouts that work, and the real-time intelligence to respond for everyone. Store manager, sales manager, area managers, inventory managers, distributors, to be a live enterprise, to break free from a location, to make a store anywhere, to make an experience every time, to power your intelligent enterprise. This is the Infosys VR store. This is the power of SAP, Infosys virtual reality integrated like never before. This is next. This is now. 
along with this as i was telling you there are many brands which are creating their own virtual worlds to offer better shopping experience to the customers the same was also done by mastercard and swarovski as it is written in one of the reports by bloomberg mastercard and swarovski launch virtual reality shopping experience today mastercard and swarovski launched a virtual reality shopping app for the atlas swarovski home decor line a collection of functional and decorative crystal home accessories design in collaboration with world renowned architects and designers the app immerses consumers in a tastefully decorated home where they can browse and purchase the pieces with masterpass mastercard's digital payment service this is new shopping app which highlights the values of the pieces the story behind the inspiration and the complex manufacturing process and the designers creative journeys in a new and engaging way masterpass enables consumers to check out from within the vr experience without having to add payment details consumers can place their phone into a compatible vr headset to enter the experience which lets them walk through the five areas of virtual home to browse designs by architects and likewise they are able to learn about the stories behind each piece read through description see the pricing and in some cases watch videos and its craftsmanship see now this again highlights one of the key interesting findings whenever you enter a virtual world even additional videos can be created to provide you more engaging information or to offer you a very highly immersive experience as in which is not just related to offering you a highly engaging experience but also sharing more of information with you in the best possible ways as you can see in case of the mastercard and swarovski also it is clearly written that it lets them walk through the five areas of the virtual home to browse designs by artist along with that they also learn about the stories behind each piece which means more of information is being shared and it is definitely going to be magical if it is further done by using storytelling approach which has been found to have more engaging experiences as far as the shopping experiences of people are concerned so we'll be looking at this video also and this is definitely going to highlight more important things as far as the dynamics of virtual reality are concerned now as you have understood the meaning of virtual reality we'll be now understanding the meaning of augmented reality now this simply indicates a computer generated perception of the actual world which is enhanced through an interactive experience called augmented reality augmented reality uses software applications hardware like ar glasses to superimpose digital material over actual settings and objects now see there is one key difference which you need to understand as far as virtual reality and augmented reality are concerned in case of virtual reality you are precisely cut off from the actual or real world and you are getting into a virtual world which was all in isolation vis a vis with respect to a real world but if you talk about augmented reality in enhances your actual reality it's not like you are being transposed to a altogether different world in this case your experience of shopping or your experience with respect to any context is being enhanced by taking your actual reality to the next level by using some of the computer generated perceptions right and this is how we understand augmented reality where the computer generated perception of the actual world is enhanced through the interactive experience it's not like you are completely transported into a different world altogether which is cut off from the actual world which was precisely in the case of virtual reality Now as we had discussed some of the additional perspectives about virtual reality we'll also be looking at a few more things as far as augmented reality is concerned now in this case there is reality overlay ar places digital content over the user's perception of the physical environment now you can also understand this from another perspective if you remember in the beginning of the course i had shared a video with you 
or some interesting findings with respect to the coffee wonderland which is owned by starbucks and is located in shanghai china now in that as in when you enter that particular coffee wonderland by using your phones if you kind of place it just against the coffee barrels which are precisely used in the coffee wonderland you'll be able to see what's happening inside the barrel which means your actual reality is intact it's just that by using some of the technologies your experiences of the actual reality are being enhanced users may engage with the both actual and virtual worlds at once as it improves the physical environment with digital components along with this as far as augmented reality is concerned you are able to view both real and virtual worlds while digital material is being added to users use in augmented reality users may still see and interact with their immediate surroundings now as far as this is concerned i'll be showing you two videos concerning the brand ikea and then you will be able to understand how this offers a perfect mix of virtual world as well as the real world interactions with ar utilizing smartphones tablets smart glasses or other camera equipped devices users may engage with ar the digital components are typically tied to actual things or place now this facet will also become much more clear as you will look at the videos of the brand ikea now considering the use cases of augmented reality like virtual reality it is utilized in a variety of contexts including smartphone games navigational aids maintenance and repair constructions virtual shopping and the provision of contextual information in a variety of cases but as far as the dynamics of retailing is concerned both virtual reality and augmented reality are being heavily utilized for improving the shopping experiences of the customers one of the key benefits which they bring is definitely higher immersion which eventually leads to very high levels of engagement as far as the shopping experiences of the individual customers are concerned now as i was telling you about ikea we'll be looking at these two particular videos which are going to give you a very clear insight about how ikea is capitalizing on the facets of augmented reality to offer the best of experiences of shoppers along with this the one benefit which is definitely coming is it often leads to better evaluation of the products which might not be possible online now let's have a look at these videos and then we'll be moving forward like everyone to know about Place, our new augmented reality app. Built on Apple's new AR kit, you can easily place two to scale 3D models of IKEA furniture in your place. Scan, browse, select, move, and place. So that could mean less of this. less of this and probably more of this we want to make it easier for people everywhere to imagine a better place share this place and this place try place in your place i really hope that you enjoyed looking at the videos concerning the brand ikea 
now we'll be understanding the artificial intelligence now artificial intelligence is the capacity of a digital computer or robot operated by a computer to carry out actions frequently performed by the intelligent individuals in other words it can also be inferred from this way machines that have been trained to think and behave like humans are said to have artificial intelligence or ai now if you specifically take an example from the retailing world if you talk about chatbots or robots which are precisely being used in retail stores now they have that intelligence to respond to customers let's say you might create a robot which can be precisely used for taking care of the doubts of the customers or providing them additional information about the stores or providing them information with respect to the services which are being provided in the store or the service establishment let's say you might have a robot which could be used by a bank with respect to guiding customers if they want an nft they should go to which counter if they want information about credit cards they should be going to which counter if they want information about certain other products how they can take those so for such things definitely robots can be used but again we'll be understanding a lot more exciting things as far as the interface between artificial intelligence and retailing is concerned now if you look at these collectively as far as the facets of virtual reality augmented reality and artificial intelligence are concerned we can't deny the fact that these are significantly impacting how a business interacts or engages with the consumers but as we move forward we'll be definitely digging more into this now as i was telling you the emergence of virtual reality and artificial intelligence has definitely had a significant impact on the retail industry it is clearly transforming the way business operates and interacts with the customers and these are a few facets in which we'll be understanding this so the first one is definitely enhanced shopping experiences now whether it is virtual reality or it is augmented reality both allow retailers to create immersive and interactive shopping experiences for customers shoppers can actually get into the virtual world they can explore products they can see more information about products which is definitely also going to enhance the diagnostics perspectives as far as the online channels are concerned shoppers can virtually explore stores browse products and make purchase decisions from the comfort of their homes another benefit which definitely comes by using the technologies of augmented reality and virtual reality is definitely virtual try on in the fashion and beauty industries vr enables customers to virtually try on clothes accessories and makeup before making a purchase which definitely reduces the need for physical try on rooms along with this it also offers the benefit of product visualization retailers can showcase products in 3d or even after virtual walk throughs of homes or spaces for furniture or home improvement purchases if you remember the video which you had just seen with respect to the burberry brand you can imagine how this helps consumers to actually see products in much better ways along with this the benefit of personalized showrooms can also be offered brands can create personalized virtual showrooms where customers can curate their shopping experiences based on their own preferences this again indicates we'll be taking things to the next level as far as the shopping experience of the customers are concerned along with this it also offers the benefits of location independent shopping as i was giving you an example with respect to the tourism sector even when you are in a place like roorkee or let's say rishikesh or delhi if companies like yatra.com and make my trip start offering virtual tourism experiences which means even by being in delhi you can actually experience switzerland this can even give a push to the urge of visiting that particular place and now you can imagine how much push this can give to the tourism sector along with this this can also be used for training and onboarding retail staff can be trained using vr simulations to handle various customer scenarios and improve their customer service skills i really hope that our discussion on the impact of vr and ar on retailing definitely gave you enhanced perspective but i would again urge you to go back to forum and share your views with respect to how you think it can further impact the world of retailing now as we move forward we'll be looking at the impact of ai on retailing so the first definitely is customer personalization ai analyzes customer data to provide personalized product recommendations which anyway improves the overall shopping experience and also increases the likelihood of sales along with this chatbots and virtual assistants are also one of the applications of ai as far as the retailing and marketing world is concerned ai powered chatbots provide the real time customer support answer queries guide customers through the purchasing process and handle routine task 
Now, if you pick up the last thing, which is about handling routine tasks, you can also connect the dots with respect to the example which I gave you in case of a bank. Like with respect to the common queries, robots and even virtual assistants and chatbots can be used to help and guide the customers. Along with this, inventory management is also one of the facets where AI can be applied. AI algorithms predict demand patterns, helping retailers optimize inventory levels, reduce stockouts and minimize overstock situations. Along with this, price optimization is also one of the benefits which can be realized with respect to the applications of AI. AI can dynamically adjust prices based on real-time market conditions, competitive pricing strategies. Fraud detection can also be considered as another application. AI algorithms identify unusual purchasing behaviors and patterns, helping retailers detect and prevent fraudulent activities. Supply chain efficiency can also be achieved with respect to the applications of AI. AI definitely improves supply chain management by optimizing logistics, route planning and warehouse operations, eventually leading to cost savings and faster delivery times. Another key benefit which definitely comes as far as applications of AI in the retailing world are concerned is it analyzes social media data, customer reviews and other online data to provide insights into consumer preferences, trends and sentiment. Now you can imagine if a retailer can scientifically or in a very systematic way analyze the trends or upcoming trends or preferences or sentiments of the consumers, how this can be magical with respect to keeping products in stores, whether it is an offline store or a virtual store and even curating very specific sales promotion offers for the customers and finally it can also be used for predictive analytics AI driven predictive analytics will indeed help retailers to forecast sales understand consumer behavior and plan marketing campaigns more effectively so as far as our this discussion is concerned again I would urge you to head to forum and share your views on how do you think AI is going to impact the world of retailing. I have intentionally kept the discussion on the impact of virtual reality and augmented reality and AI on retailing short because we want you to think more about it and head to forum and share your views how these can actually impact the retailers. The whole idea was to give you a snapshot or a broad perspective about how these can actually impact the retailing world. Now considering the impact of AI on retailing, we'll be looking at one of the videos which actually presents how the Mitra robot is being utilized in retail stores. So this again is going to help you connect a lot of dots and get better perspectives on the impact of AI in retail stores vis-a-vis -vis respect to the usage of robots. So please have a look at this video and then we'll be moving forward. Welcome to the Soul Space Mall. I am the Mitra robot and I will be your shopping assistant for today. Let me check your body temperature. Please look into the camera. Optimal body temperature detected. What are you looking for today? I'm looking for a trendy bags collection. Of course, we have the following options. Let me take you there. Awesome. Let's go. Here you go. Thank you, Mitra. Can you help me upgrade my watch? Absolutely. You will find our smartwatches collection here. Thank you, Mitra. What do you think is better, G-Shock or the smartwatch? I'd say the smartwatch since you are looking for an upgrade. Please choose from one of the quiz category. GK quiz begins. Who among the following wrote Sanskrit grammar? Panini. Hmm. Correct. Hitler's party which came into power in 1933 is known as Nazi party. Hmm, correct. Check out your score. Yay! Thank you, Mitra. Hi again, Mitra. Could we grab a quick bite somewhere? Sure. Let's go. You can check in with the robot itself. Please let me know your phone number and email ID. 946 
sai at the rate gmail.com How many stars would you like to give us? Now we'll be having a brief discussion about the future of retailing in India. This is definitely going to be a fact that e-commerce will continue to grow as one. Now the first facet definitely needs to be associated with e-commerce growth. Now if you look at it from this perspective, e-commerce will continue to grow as more consumers will turn to online shopping for convenience and a wider selection of products. See even if you compare the earlier times and present times, you'll be able to prepare a list of products which were never available online and now a lot of or rather a majority of people are buying them online. Just consider the case of insurance sector. Earlier nobody was buying insurance online, but now you have players like policybazaar.com who are actually selling insurance. online along with this even there was a time when even companies like flipkart were also selling two wheelers on their platforms now just imagine nobody would have thought of selling two wheelers online which are now being sold through various platforms i think if we dig deep we'll also be found some data where consumers are even buying four wheelers online along with this omni channel will definitely grow if you talk about the present scenario we are definitely into the world of multi channel retailing where the retailers are offering you more of channels but they operate in isolation or are not fully integrated but the world is definitely going to be of omni channel retailing which means the boundary between physical stores and online shopping will blur further with retailers adopting omni channel strategies to provide a seamless shopping experience across various platforms as as we see today options like buy online and pick up in stores which is also called as click and collect will definitely grow further integrating virtual and augmented reality into the shopping experiences along with this the times to come will belong to personalization and ai and data analytics artificial intelligence will definitely enable retailers to gather and analyze vast amounts of consumer data allowing them to offer personalized recommendations tailored marketing messages and more accurately conduct inventory predictions along with this we'll also see an entire world of contactless and cashless payments the covid-19 pandemic has definitely accelerated this because it was only during those times that cashless payments were definitely stimulated this trend is likely to continue as consumers become accustomed to the convenience and safety of such transactions there is indeed going to be a growth as far as the voice commerce is concerned Let's understand this with respect to the example of senior citizens. See if you look at them they might not be in a position to effectively use mobile phones as far as searching for information, typing or other things are concerned. But what they can effectively use is voice assistants. So another thing which we need to understand is voice commerce is also supposed to grow sustainability and ethical shopping are again going to be at the center or fulcrum consumers are increasingly concerned about the environmental and social impact of their purchases retailers that prioritize sustainability ethical sourcing and corporate social responsibility are likely to impact a growing customer base automation and robotics is also going to play a more significant role in areas like inventory management order fulfillment and customer service this could lead to definitely a greater lens of efficiency and cost savings for for retailers if you remember with respect to this also i had shared a video in one of the modules so i would urge you to go back and look for it so as far as the facets of augmented reality and virtual reality are concerned we have already discussed about them along with this the focus is going to be on health and wellness the health and wellness trend will definitely impact retail as consumers seek products and services that align with their well-being goals including fitness mental health and sustainable living localized and hyper personalized marketing is also going to be important and now it is all going to be on retailers how they leverage location data and advanced analytics to deliver highly targeted marketing messages to consumers based on their specific preferences there is definitely going to be an expansion as far as the rural and tier 2 and tier 3 cities in india are concerned you might see a huge growing base as far as rural areas are concerned and even with respect to tier 2 tier 3 cities if online channels can come up with facilities with respect to offering faster delivery of services or improving their last mile distribution network this again is going to be very much beneficial as far as the growth of retailers is concerned 
again there is going to be a rise in direct to consumer selling see if you look at lens card they have been primarily successful and are able to offer best of prices to customers because there is no middleman which also indicates an example of directly selling to consumers so such kind of companies will also grow further and you might see others also getting into the same domain so as far as our discussion on the future of retailing was concerned i really hope that you were able to pick up few interesting findings and finally considering this module we get to our exciting element which is extra fodder for thought so the first thing which we are going to discuss in this case is booking a virtual appointment so have a look at this this is one of the snapshots which has been derived from the online channel now if you see along with add to cart and buy now the third option which they have is book an appointment now just imagine what companies are doing today brands like tata now making it easier for consumers that even if you are sitting at the comfort of your home you can book an appointment precisely a virtual call and you can see the product then and there itself otherwise a watch is such a product is more of an experience product for which you might require some additional diagnostics and just checking it online might not give you a very clear cut and heightened picture about how the product actually looks along with this if you click further this is what you see virtual real time store browsing priority assistance online or store payment for purchases so this was one thing which i wanted you to understand as far as the facet of booking an appointment and checking products was concerned along with this i also want you to know about one of the campaigns which was basically a public awareness campaign executed in australia by metro trains in melbourne victoria so when this ad was actually released in 2012 it actually gained a very huge popularity on social media there were many people who were talking about it sharing it and that's how it popularity just went to the next level so i would urge you to look at this video this is more funny and actually educates people about taking care of their safety as far as metro stations are concerned so i would urge you to have a look at this video set fire to your hair poke a stick at a grizzly bear eat medicine that's out of date Use your private parts as piranha bait. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Get your toast out with a fork. Do your own electrical work. Teach yourself how to fly. Eat a two-week-old unrefrigerated pie. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Invite a psycho killer inside. Scratch a drug dealer's brand. Your helmet off in outer space. Use a clothes dryer as a hiding place. Dumb ways to die. What's this red button do? Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dress up like a moose during hunting season. Disturb a nest of wasps for no good reason. Stand on the edge of the train station platform. Drive around the boom gates at a level crossing. Run across the tracks between the platforms. They may not rhyme, but they're quite possibly.
so many dumb ways to die. Be safe around trains. A message from Metro. Now we finally get to the last part of this module which is learning something new and the term which I have kept for today is innovators. Now to put it in a very simplistic way, innovators are precisely those people who are very much enthusiastic or proactive about adopting new technologies. That's why it is also said when it comes to defining innovators, these are the people who are first to adopt new technologies. In the technology adoption life cycle, innovators are those who enjoy experimenting with new ideas and may even be the ones who persuade others to use a certain app or application or newly advanced technical products. So see, if you look at it from a marketing perspective, innovators are very important because many times they also help spread a word of mouth and will share information about the new products with others. And many times innovators also capture the essence of segments of those people who as when they adopt the new technology are also willing to buy it at premium as compared to others. Many times you must have seen let's say when a new mobile is launched initially it is very high priced and innovators are the people who will go ahead and buy it. And as and when the price of the product reduces with time you might have other segment of people which are usually adopters they will also come forward and buy it. So now you can understand the importance that need to be associated to innovators as far as technological products are concerned. So if you remember as far as the introduction video for the course was concerned I had given you a perspective about mental health. So as we end this course I again have a message for you which is a quote by Lily R. It says asking for help is the first step you are more precious to this world than you will ever know. So I would again urge you to never compromise on your mental health and don't be shy away from seeking any of the help whenever it is required. So again your mind matters and your most important relationship is with yourself. So please don't compromise on your mental health. It is as important as your physical health. Along with that we are also providing you some resources which you can use for mental health. And finally as we end this course I really hope that you had a great learning experience as far as learning the basics and advanced concepts in retailing is concerned. If you have any feedback please feel free to share with us so that we can improve and make this course better. Happy learning. Wishing you a good day for now.